Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing great from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. I am here with another story and this one is a very interesting one because honestly speaking, I have been talking of the defense and most of the time we defend Harry and Meghan from the hate that they face. So I'm here with another one, but this is not a hate. It's something so positive and I am delighted to share it with you. So recently we had the announcement or rather it was made clear that Birmingham has won the bid to host Invictus Games. And it's okay. It's okay. We accepted that and I really hope you all have accepted it. A lot of worries were there here and there. Talking of, you know, what about the security? Will Harry be accompanied with Meghan and the kids to that Invictus 2027? And at this point, I'm like, you know what? It's still early. A lot will happen along the way. So let us wait for that time and let us be patient. But what we have to do is to continue supporting Harry and Meghan and defending them. Because the hate is something that grows every single day. So anyway, that aside, I'm here to share a story and just allow me read you an article published about it, talking of Invictus Games alumni says Prince Harry has changed her and family's life. There are no words. This is an exclusive one. So listen to this. He is so relatable and so lovely to everybody. That is from Michelle Turner telling the people of the Duke of Sussex. Prince Harry's Invictus Games is more than just a sporting event for its competitors. It was announced on Tuesday, July of 23rd, that the Invictus Games will be returning to the UK in Birmingham for 2027. And speaking exclusively to people, at a flag racing ceremony at the NEC in the city, former Royal Air Force Sergeant Michelle Turner tells people just how big of an impact Harry and the competition has had on her. Turner, who is 45, who suffers from a heart condition that can cause her to collapse without warning, read a poem with her husband John and daughter Maya, who is 11, at a Thanksgiving service for the 10-year anniversary of games at St. Paul's Cathedral in London earlier this year. She recalls how Harry came over afterward and said he thought that was a first to get a standing ovation of 2,000 people in St. Paul's Cathedral. What an honor and responsibility it was to put our journey into words. The people in the audience knew that. Every word poem meant that we created. With a tearful choke in her voice, she says she owes the Duke of Sussex so much. How do you even thank someone for changing your life, changing your family's life? There are no words. Tana, who competed at the Games in Toronto 2017 and Sydney in 2018, tells people, All I see here is smiles. It's giving people a focus again. He is so relatable and so lovely to everybody and he knows the Invictus Games. She adds that Birmingham will be rocking with excitement at the event. You struggle to explain the magic, but people will be able to come along and see it for themselves and feel that magic and inspiration. We will feel the stance, she says. Yes, allow me to stop it there. But such a good 
speech such a good one from the alumni invitas games harry has really touched most of the people's lives and i love the fact that these people do not forget it they always come back appreciating and showing love to the rest of the veterans so from such a message from these alumni what do you have to learn about it honestly speaking we are proving the media wrong for always talking ill of prince harry always taking harry as a bad person oh yes such a comment it was actually amazing and i don't know how to explain it more but i'll say it's so good that we learn from such people and let us always learn to appreciate where it deserve i felt like that is too emotional and personally i also feel so emotional about it but let me just feel good because it's a positive thing and it's a celebration it's a celebration to harry and the invictus games so despite the fact that invictus 2027 is going to the uk let us see in this angle that you know the veterans deserve it and from Harry's speech during the award, during the Pat Tillman Award, he said that Invictus is something that brings in people together, regardless of the nationality, challenges, and yeah, everything. So personally, I am here to say I accepted that the Invictus in UK 2027, it's not because of the royal family, but because of the veterans. That is all I need to say. You see... This alumni is even proud of Harry taking it there. And she said that people will come and witness the warmth that Harry has and the impact of the Invictus Games. Yes. So let us all get ready for this. And personally, I can't wait to see everything. And hoping that more of such people come out to also celebrate Harry because Harry deserves this. I don't know what you think about the entire story. Personally, I feel so good that someone at least can be able to celebrate Harry despite the critics from all over. Most of the people criticizing him, but finally, we have some people like this lady. I am impressed and I can't say anything much. So thank you for watching up to this point. Kindly, before this video comes to an end, remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and also like this particular video it will help us so much and also share the link with your friends and family so that we grow to a bigger one supporting harry and megan and spreading the spirit so thank you so much stay safe from wherever you are and stay tuned for our next one until next time goodbye